Jeffrey Combs, president and founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated in beautiful Irvine, California. I am here with Marissa and Doug Campbell and her team of like-minded entrepreneurs. Let's give everyone a hand. So here on Facebook Live, what I'm going to cover for you real quick is this right here. Meaning, M-E-A-N-I-N-G. Meaning, cause, and purpose. What the, brain, what the brain tends to do is it will take an event and hold on to it and create meaning out of an event and either stay unresolved or repressed. Now, if you live in a repressed, unresolved set of feelings, not understanding why you do what you do, then you will continue to perpetuate the same set of feelings to create the same outcome, which typically equals disappointment. Now, if you be and stay disappointed, then you will attract a reality, the same situations over and over to fulfill a set of feelings driven by anxiety, fear, and doubt. Now, as you begin to move into meaning, cause, and purpose, and you begin to let go of why you do what you do, then you will begin to do this. Let go. Now, let go can be explained. Let go is not a phenomenon. Let go is not phenomenal. Let go is a skill. As you begin to understand that letting go means separating my feelings from the events that change, separating my feelings from the events that shape them, you can change the meaning of the significance you give to an event. Now, as you de-signify an event that you've held on to, it changes the energy. So what that means is that emotions have a corresponding response. So anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, and apathy. And if you spend a great deal of your time in these emotions right here, that means that you're going to give off a corresponding response to this. That means that you'll attract your reality, people and situations that will foster the meaning of what you hold on to. As I change the meaning, that means you, as I, you, me, as I change the meaning of what those events meant to me, now I change the corresponding response that my energy transmutes and transmits. And as I begin to move out of these anxieties and I move into this place called joy, love, bliss, prosperity, reciprocity. Now, this type of energy gives off a different corresponding response. Now, this is a be and stay type of energy. You be and stay in this. This isn't something you get. This isn't something you do. This is a be state. So as you learn to be in that relaxed body, it means that you're in your body much more frequently. You're not in an overwhelmed state. And as you begin to do this, change my communication style. It means the way you communicate with self will determine who and what you attract. As you begin to change your self-talk and you begin to insert more frequently into your communication style words that are decisive and words that are commitment, you will attract a reality over a relatively short period of time, a different type of cause, meaning, purpose, person, situation, and an event. It means they will begin to show up. I'm here live in Irvine, California with a group of exceptional people giving off a private event for Marissa Campbell, her team. There's a lot of great people in this room. It's the 4th of July weekend. Independence Weekend. I want to thank all of you for tuning in here. Jeffrey Combs, President, Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. You have a great day. Yeah.